The ongoing Hollywood cliché, a bad boy falls in love with a good girl, so they struggle a lot because of their differences. They say that opposites attract, and these couples definitely prove it. Welcome to Top Next Movies, and today we'll be looking at iconic mismatched couples, counting down our picks for the top 10 good girl bad boy couples. For this list, we'll be looking at big screen romances, relationships, and or pairings, that include male characters who aren't solely from the wrong side of the tracks, but could just not be living a conventionally squeaky clean lifestyle, or can be considered bad influences by many, with female characters who aren't necessarily the complete opposite, but are at least different from who they're with. From 13 Reasons Why to the Kissing Booth, here are the top 10 good girl bad boy couples. Let's get started. Landon and Jamie, A Walk to Remember A Walk to Remember, the film based on a Nicholas Sparks novel starring Mandy Moore and Shane West, is practically a film that will leave you crying for a week. Popular and rebellious high school senior, Landon Carter and his friends have illegally drank on school grounds. They lure a new student, Clay Gephardt, to a factory, hoping to prank him, with an initiation task into their elite friendship group. However, Clay becomes seriously injured, which is brought to the attention of the school principal through law enforcement. Landon is assigned community service after getting in trouble, his punishment also involves participating in the spring play, during which he falls in love with Jamie, the reverend's daughter. When I look back on this film, I can't help but notice the quality in it. It's just so different than films and TV shows nowadays, it has such a good adaptation, such amazing actors, and of course a beautifully written story. For those of you who haven't seen the film or read the book, we won't spoil anything, so you can watch it after finishing our video, and before we continue, make sure you smack that like button if you haven't done it already. 9. John B. and Sarah, Outer Banks Netflix's Outer Banks, premiered in the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, giving teen audiences an escape when they needed it most, it also gave them a new good girl bad boy couple to ship relentlessly. John B., a character played by Chase Stokes is one of those bad boys who deal with a loss, he lost his father recently. He and his friends are the troublemakers. He then meets Sarah, a character played by Madeline Klein. Sarah is the opposite of John. She comes from a well-off family who humors her and her need to make the world a better place. These two better each other and corrupt each other, making them one of the show's best relationships. 8. Elle and Noah, The Kissing Booth The Kissing Booth 3 quickly rose to the top of the most-watched lists on Netflix in the aftermath of its release fans would likely want more. The third movie saw Elle, King, decide what she wanted to do with her future, and in an unexpected move, she decided to not go to Harvard with Noah, Jacob Elordi. Instead, she chose her own path, and went to study video game design at USC. What's more, The Kissing Booth 3 ends with an epilogue set six years later, when Elle and Noah reunite for the first time since they broke up before college. Honestly, we don't know if they ended up together, because the kissing both three had a confusing conclusion. 7. Bella and Edward, Twilight Kristen Stewart starred as Bella Swan in one of the most criticized franchises ever Twilight. Kristen plays a 17-year-old girl who moves to the small town of Forks, Washington from Phoenix, Arizona, then she falls in love with Edward Cullen a vampire. Many Twilight fans were enthralled by Edward and Bella's relationship, but the vampire has a lot of issues that they simply ignore. 6. Bronwyn and Nate, One of Us is Lying One of Peacock's first teen dramas, One of Us is Lying, is based on the best-selling teen novel of the same name. Described as The Breakfast Club meets Pretty Little Liars, the show is full of tons of mystery and soon-to-be iconic bad boy good girl pairing. Brownin, Marion Lee Tejeda, is a straight, a student and a good daughter who would never do anything wrong. 
Meanwhile, Nate, Cooper Van Grudel, is the resident bad boy and drug dealer on campus, who only sells drugs to pay for rent. These two might seem like an unlikely pair, but they quickly bond over being suspected murders and team up to protect one another. 5. Chuck and Blair, Gossip Girl It's impossible not to include Chuck, Ed Westwick, and Blair, Leighton Meester, on this list, but he's not the kind of bad boy, such as for instance the previously mentioned. He wears designer clothes and has a keen sense of fashion, although some outfits are questionable. Nonetheless, the character had the making of a bad boy. He liked to blackmail and make people's lives difficult, he got a kick out of seeing other people's lives crumble and burn. Chuck actually enjoyed making Blair feel awful, he would tell her numerous times that he didn't love her, he would tell her she looks terrible, and he would simply insult his girlfriend in every way possible. But Blair changed that, there's no denying that Blair wasn't an angelic good girl, despite how she presents herself. But there's a reserved and caring side to her, and it's Blair who ultimately melts Chuck's heart and gets him to care and fall in love. 4. Hardin and Tessa, After Hardin, hero finds Tiffin, is the definition of what many imagine a bad boy to be. Ripped straight from the Wattpad teen story, Hardin is a bad boy character fans fell for. Tattoos bad boy looks and toxic habits, that constantly make his life a living nightmare, Hardin have it all. Then there's Tessa, Josephine Langford, a sweet and dedicated student, who's new to campus. She wants to focus on her career and lead a peaceful life. Her life gets flipped upside down when she meets Hardin. At first, she's convinced she can stay away, but their budding relationship breaks down her sheltered way of life. Of course, Hardin falls for Tessa, but it's not easy as he harbors anger issues. 3. Jess and Justin, 13 Reasons Why 13 Reasons Why may have been a controversial Netflix teen drama, but it did give fans one of the best good girl bad boy teen couples of all time. And after two seasons of 13 Reasons Why, we can all be sure that the teens at Liberty High School were going through hell. One of the central couples of the show was Justin and Jessica's characters, portrayed by Brandon Flynn and Alicia Bowe. At the start of the series Jess, Alicia Bowe, is a smart and kind character, who even steps in to befriend Hannah, Catherine Langford, when she moves to town. On the other hand, Justin, Brandon Flynn, is a mischievous jock with a troubled home life, that doesn't always speak up when he should. Initially, Justin was the bad boy in the relationship, but thanks to Clay's help, he became the good boy, while his girlfriend went through an unbelievable transformation becoming a bad girl in later seasons. 2. Damon and Elena, The Vampire Diaries Damon Salvatore Ian Summerhalter became the epitome of a sexy, handsome, and dangerous bad boy that fans loved. He's the cause for a lot of Stefan's misfortune and headaches, when he returns to Mystic Falls. He ticks all of the boxes when it comes to the stereotypical bad boy, the leather jacket, the dark clothes, the hypnotizing eyes, and he's a vampire. Damon has no real regard for the chaos he creates, until he meets Elena, Nana Dobrev. Elena is a small-town girl struggling with her parents' death. Damon's deep-rooted love and care for Elena's well-being change him. In the end, they fall madly in love and awaken parts of themselves they never knew existed, even if the debate as to whether or not she chose correctly is still up for discussion. 1. Anna Steele and Christian Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey Anna Steele is a college senior who by accident interviews businessman Christian Grey, Anna and Christian begin seeing each other. They of course fall in love, but then Anna discovers something really messed up about Christian, and well the rest is history. Though he insists that she sign a non-disclosure agreement, preventing her from revealing details about their dalliance. He explains that he engages in sexual bondage relationships, but only as clearly defined in a contract between the participants. Who's your favorite good girl bad boy couple, let us know in the comments. 
If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon, so you never miss any of them, and as always, thanks for watching.